what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so glad you all could join me today uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video uh, the beginning of this month we went on a vacation uh, vacation was great we went down to Myrtle Beach and got a surprise my brother from Virginia he came down and joined us for that whole week so that was a uh, it was really awesome and we we all had a really good time out there and since I got back um, I've been out patrolling so I've been patrolling on nights so if any of you guys ever work nights you know how that is you get off early in the morning you're tired sleepy you come in go to bed and when you're waking up you're going back out to work so I haven't really had the time in between working and sleeping to get out here and do a video so here I am about to bring you guys another monster bass video and before I go any further uh, I still would like to thank monster bass as a sponsor I can't remember it's been at least two three years since I first signed up with monster bass and became one of their ambassadors and uh, it's it's been awesome uh, some of these baits have been really really cool so uh, Again, thank you to Rick for signing me on as one of the ambassadors slash uh, pro staff with um, with Monster Bass. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. As always, if you get the Platinum Series, you also get these reusable uh, bait bags. You can throw everything in here from hooks, weights, uh extra line you know extra spools of fishing line uh, or you can use them to organize certain baits excuse me top water baits uh, some soft plastics whatever you want to organize these things with you can reuse them over and over again so that is awesome so as always you get your booklet here with all of your information uh, that talks about what are you getting in the box and remember uh, the platinum series uh, monster bass box they changed to these bags but uh, they're also regional base so some of the stuff that I have if you're in a different region you're not gonna get the same lure if you do get the same lure it might not be the same color because the fish are going to be biting on different things or attracted to different colors depending on what's going on in that region so always keep that in mind these are region based so some of the things might be different that's in here and then there might be some things that I have that you didn't get based on your region but like always uh, all the cool information um, how to use the lures and such uh, information from pros uh, I mean it's just full of cool information and stuff and I mean you you can't go wrong with a monster bass uh, you always get you some kind of a sticker we've had this one before uh, this one is the fish is called largey smalls uh, there is a picture of the famous notorious rapper uh, Biggie Smalls who was murdered several years ago but there was a picture of him wearing a crown and he kind of made this face so it looks like they designed this sticker with that in mind so you know shout out to Biggie Smalls and his family and then shout out to Monster Bass and their creative team for that sticker right there uh, is this a sticker? no this is not a sticker but uh, looks like they have a, a card here where you can do a uh, giveaway or something win a monster bass for one year make an unboxing video and upload it to YouTube Facebook or Instagram and tag it with hashtag monster bass unboxing will pick one person each month and they'll win and they'll will they'll win a year one year subscription they misspelled some stuff on that and then you get your uh, what is this one called against fish angler which is kind of like if you've had fish brain this is what this is kind of like so you uh, can scan that barcode right there and get signed up for a uh, fish angler 
all right set that stuff to the side and now we're going to get into these baits and what i'm going to do is just dig in here and grab something and then if it's in the book we're going to talk about it from the book if it's not in the book i'm going to try to talk to you based on my experience using uh these style of lures so first thing we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and grab this one it's a rebel jumping minnow this is a topwater bait it is a uh, if you've ever fished with the uh, Zara Spook or the um, Strike King Sexy Dog, this is the same thing. Uh, Topwater bait. I would probably say throw this on. Well, let me see if it's in here first. How about with that? How about we do that? Okay, there's the popper. Okay, so it's not in here. Okay, so again, as I was saying, this bait here is just like the Strike King Sexy Dog. Uh, I would say whatever brand rod you're using, if that brand has a specific rod designed for top water, go with that one. Uh, otherwise, maybe even your favorite um, jerk bait rod. Maybe 12 pound, maybe 14 pound monofilament, or uh, 45 to 60 pound braid because this is a top water and this lure here the color is called the it's a bone color so really good color for throwing top water and pretty much like a jerk bait or any other top water bait you want to work your rod in a downward motion okay you're moving the bait with the rod you're only turning the reel to take up your slack but every time you're moving the lure it's a downward uh, motion like you're trying to slap the water with your rod tip and when you do that it's gonna make your bait do a walking the dog action meaning it's gonna go like this so you're walking it across the water top of that water and really really good at uh, getting a lot of good top water bites and drawing in those strikes especially if they're up under cover uh, I would probably throw it around some lay downs uh, along a grass edge uh, some kind of a flat especially if you got some shallow water but you know those fish are kind of cruising around that area just bringing that lure right over their heads you're getting a lot of bites with that and then top water blow ups are awesome so speaking of top water we have here the 13 fishing poppy mcpop face uh, this is like the uh, the old school popper this is basically what it is um, they suggest for these type of lures here. Okay, okay, I thought we had another one. But for these style of lures here, they suggest a lunker stick, seven foot rod, medium fast, six eight to one gear ratio bait caster, forty pound braided line. So again, with this one, not so much as a speed thing to make it walk the dog, but as you notice that uh that caved in face, you want to grab that water. To make it spit water and cause a lot of commotion and water disruption that's going to also call those fish so again try to get close to that cover lay downs grass edge uh, if you've got some sparse lily pads and sparse grass try to find you a nice little spot to throw it and walk it down that area and call those fish out of that grass uh, this color here is there a chrome blue back this is almost like an original staple color for any type of lure that you know chrome blue back uh, you can find these on a lot of your lipless crankbaits uh, you know that is a really good minnow uh, shad imitating color right there uh, this one here is the bait labs what do they call it what do they call it Papa Chomp it's in the ghost and glow so it's a translucent but then on that belly I know you guys can't see that because of my light but on the belly there it's got that translucent uh, chartreuse and this lure is just like your uh, whopper ploppers again top water bait throw it out in an area around lay downs or anything like that around docks and you're just reeling it and it has that prop on the back that's gonna make a nice plopping sound that's going to call those fish out get you some nice blow ups on those 
Uh, let's see here. I think I saw something in the back here. Just a second. Yes. So for that style of lure, they recommend Lunker Stick, seven foot four, uh, medium heavy, moderate fast action, seven to one gear ratio bait caster with sixty pound braid. So again, you're throwing this around some cover, but the reason they want you to go with that heavy braid on some of these, when you call that fish out and he bites and you set the hook that fish is gonna run back into that cover if you're around grass I would throw these with braid because that braid will cut through the grass really easy if you're around lay downs logs things like that I would suggest going with a, uh, a fluorocarbon because it's very much it's abrasion resistant and you're not going to cut your line when you're coming across the uh, those logs and those lay downs so if you're around grass, if you're around vegetation, throw these lures with braid. If you're going to be around laydowns and rocks and around the docks and stuff like that, I would throw uh, fluorocarbon. Okay, reaching in here next, and we have the Vicious Fishing, their Ned Candy and an Orange Crawl Swirl. So these are just some of your Ned baits. So whatever your favorite Ned fishing setup, I would say go with that and then throw these on there and see what you can get. Right now it's summertime, so those fish are going to be down a little bit deeper, uh, a little bit stubborn to bite. So that's when you have to downsize your lures and downsize your techniques to a more finesse approach. And going with those Neds is a good way, a good key a uh, good way to get those bites and then reaching in again and we're gonna come out with some grande bass fishing lures and it's basically their uh, stick baits this is called the air their air tails uh, stick and this is a I really don't know what to call this color it looks like a green pumpkin with some red and look like some blue flakes in it so again whatever your favorite uh, wacky rig Nico rig Texas rig whatever you like to fish those style of rigs stick with that I'm not gonna tell you to change it stick with how you have those set up but then throw you one of these on there and see what you can get uh, right here we have the Castaic RC Hammer casting jig in a black and blue color. Uh, yeah, it's a quarter ounce. So a quarter ounce. It looks like a football head jig. Well, it says casting jig. So wherever you like to flip your jigs, throw them in there and work them bad boys back and watch the magic happen with these whatever your favorite trailer is stick with that don't don't change anything you know fish this like you normally would you know how jigs are guys they they always get the bites and then this one right here is a exclusive monster bass color this is called the sneak frog this is a very very unique looking frog mainly because it is they glued this part back here where the hooks come out so you don't get any water in there if you do get water it has a very very small hole right there so you can squirt that water out uh, if you look at this this thing is very soft so when those fish bite down hooks are exposed so you ain't got to bend the hooks any kind of way to try to get a better uh, hook ratio and hookup percentage I mean look at that that's just that's a whole lot of hook right there if you guys can see that that is a whole lot of hook exposed waiting to be bit also the thing that's different about this is you don't have your traditional uh, skirt at the back of this gel you have these two blades that's going to cause a lot of uh, vibration and water disbursement but it's also going to cause uh, some flash that's going to help get those fish attention uh, what is this color called I have no idea what it is called color monster bass glow again this is an exclusive color for monster bass so monster bass glow this comes in a half ounce 
silicone body, wide gap HD hook, blades for flash, glue at the bottom, Kevlar line tie with an HD swivel. So, unlike your traditional uh, topwater frogs, where you just tie straight to your, your hook right here in the front, they've got this Kevlar tether to a swivel. That is going to allow for a lot more swing and a lot more action, which is going to make this thing walk a little bit different than what we're used to, but I am pretty sure this is going to get lots of bites. So, kind of anxious to get out there and throw it, but again, guys, in order to get these lures, you need to uh, click on my link down below and sign up for the monster bass platinum series they have other boxes for different species of fishing but to get these lures and to get these bags you have to sign up for the platinum series i promise you you won't go wrong this is at least fifty dollars worth of lures right here that i have gotten for about 35 bucks so you're going to save yourself some money you're going to get lures that you would have never thought about getting whenever you go to a bait store and you get information straight from the pros to learn how to fish these lures also whenever you go out take a picture of your catch send it back in to them and possibly get a chance to be on this page showing off your PB that you have caught with your monster bass lures so that is all I have guys awesome lures uh, fishing is pretty much at like its peak right now uh, this is also a really good chance and a good time to challenge yourself out there on the water dealing with the heat the water temperature things like that uh, for those of you guys that like to power fish you like to throw fast moving baits this will actually teach you some patience slowing down and changing up your presentation from the big uh, big bulky lures to downsizing to small finesse lures so Get out there on the water, guys. Throw some of these baits. Try some of these techniques. And let us know if you've had any kind of luck and success with it. Uh, again, that's all I have. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, uh, smash that thumbs up button if you like the videos. Drop me some comments down below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, the last time I did my drawing for a giveaway, I did not get a response from the last person. So here's what I'm going to do. If you have watched this video to the very end, leave me a comment answering this question. In the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour, which angler was the first one to win the Red Crest and Angler of the Year? Drop your comments down below. Whoever answers that question, then I'll reach out to you and hopefully you respond to me so I can get information so that way I can get a winner for that six gill Hamar reel that I promised I would give away I don't want you guys to think I'm just blowing smoke up people's butts to get you guys to subscribe to the channel I really did do a giveaway the last time I'll link that video up here so you guys can see that I did do that so again if you can tell me which angler in the Bass Pro Tour was the very first to win the Red Crest and Angler of the Year you will be the winner of that uh, six gill Hamar reel that I will also include the ceramic ball bearings. That's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, see you guys in the great outdoors.